Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's Pick a Card reading, I'm doing something a bit different, something a bit new. So you'll want to stick around for the intro on this one. Today's topic is which creative genius has a message for you? Now, how I'm doing this is last night I put together this jar of quotes and the quotes are from these creative geniuses and I will draw one per reading, okay? So who are the creative geniuses on the menu for today? We have Robin Williams, Robert Frost, Picasso, Dolly Parton, Jim Henson and Osho. I realize that this is a very unusual and eclectic mix of people. How did I come up with this group? I have no idea. I was just Google searching creative people and of course the first one that popped into my mind was Robin Williams. He's super creative, right? So I looked up quotes by him and then I thought, oh, let's have a writer, Robert Frost. And I thought, let's have a painter. And like this, you know, and I thought, let's have a singer and Dolly Parton popped into my mind. So, you know, I mean, the next time I do this, we'll have a totally different group of people, right? Um, this is just who we have for now. Uh, and I, I came up with six because like that's as much as I could fit on an A5 sheet of paper. And then I wrote them all down. I cut them up. I put them in this jar and I will draw one per reading. So I have no idea who I'm going to draw. Um, the cards I drew just briefly, you know, just like a few minutes before sitting down to record. So I have seen the cards very briefly, uh, but um, that, you know, the quote will be entirely fresh and I'll be incorporating it into your reading on the fly. So pick from your group either one, two or three, and I look forward to seeing you in your reading. Hi there, group one. If you chose group number one, you are in the right place. Okay, let's take a look at your cards first, and then I'm gonna pull out your message from your creative genius, whoever that ends up being. All right, so now you've got judgment in reverse. What a way to start, huh? <laughs> got a king of swords upright. The Eight of Cups in reverse. We've got the Ninth House, Sagittarius, Jupiter, I know. Excellent card to get in this spread. I must say, everything's just been, I mean, all of these spreads, they always just blow me away each time. Embrace. This is from the Lord Ganesh G deck. <coughs> and transformation okay so what do we have here <clears throat> this is a really beautiful spread I love this spread to me this is very much about you embracing your intellect Okay, so we've got the Embrace card here. What are we embracing? We've, in a sense, we've got Embrace twice because this is traditionally a card of walking away. In the reverse position, we can read this as being coming towards, coming back. Okay, so you're not walking away. You're actually coming back to something. What is it that you're coming back to? Okay, so I believe you're coming back to the intellect. And the reason I say that is because as spiritual people, and I feel like you're quite a spiritual person who's probably been doing this work for quite a while, and you know that the answers are not all up here in the mind. You know that, right? Uh, and you've probably explored at different times in your life different ways of being. And this is very good, and we all must do this. As spiritual people, sometimes we're too much up in our mind, and then there are problems, and we do have to go into the body. We have to do our yoga and we have to take time out and we have to, you know, not work so much and not be so mentally driven, right? We know that, you know, we can't just be up in our minds all the time. And I feel like you know that. And I feel that maybe there have been periods of time where you've gone away from the mind, okay? So that's going away 
but now you're being asked to come back. You're being asked to come back to the mind because it's, it's often, it's a spiritual thing. I know I've had to do this where I've had to like put down the books and put down the laptop and I've needed for various health reasons to work on my body and do yoga and meditate and eat healthy and, and really be with the body. But you're actually being asked to come back more into the mind, okay? Uh, so that's going to be important for your creativity going forward. So this is a superb card to get the best card for the mind. Ace of Swords as well, okay? There's one better than this and that's the Ace of Swords. But this is like you're very much basically at that level of mastery over the intellect and the mind. So it's a really, really great card to get. Now what kind of mind type thing? Well, it's all the Sagittarian type stuff. So let's have a read here. We've got, this is the house of higher and elevated thought as well as expansion. It covers long distance travels, foreign languages, inspiration, optimism, publications, higher education, spirituality, philosophy, religion, ideals, morals, and ethics. Absolutely. So this is, when it comes to your creativity, you're being asked to, yes, embrace the mind, and in particular, the intellectual mind, the philosophical mind, the mind that, yeah, foreign languages, the mind that is um, so let's say, for example, and this is a great spread for a writer. But what kind of writer? And I would say it's definitely a Ninth House Jupiterian sort of writer where it's you know, you're writing philosophical, academic, non-fiction type work. So either you're being called to that kind of creativity or you're being called to use the mind and the creativity that is produced from this house in your creative endeavor. Okay, so maybe you're a musician, right? Well, maybe, you know, you're being called to read books or, or get more into the intellectual side as opposed to just the intuitive creative side of that right <clears throat> i watched a clip the other day of um it, was it chick korea the jazz pianist and he was talking about all these books he had read and you know he gets into the theory and and he goes intellectual with this stuff too he's not just a jazz pianist and i'm also thinking of bruce lee Bruce Lee for a time, this could be, God, this could be a Bruce Lee type spread because he worked with his body all the time, right? But then he was out of action, he wasn't well, and for three months he read Krishnamurti, right? So that's all this. That's, that he, he was called to sit and read those books. So I feel like you're being called to do something like that. Judgment in reverse can indicate something like doubt, but <clears throat> for you I'm reading this judgment in reverse as being that you're in a little bit of a holding pattern potentially. So what do I mean by this? When this is upright, you are ready to ascend, you're ready to go to the next level of life in such a way that you, you don't need to look back or ever do any of those other levels ever again. You're getting ready to really ascend and go to that next level. When it's in the reverse, I feel like there's a little bit of a holding pattern and you are not quite making that transition or that leap, that transformation, right? So you are asked to being, to, you are being asked to make a transition, to go to that next level, you're gonna have to use, there's something about you using your mind. There's something about you using your mind, your intellect, books, um, embrace all of that, embrace the mind. And I know as spiritual people, we're often told that the answers aren't up in the mind, but sometimes they are. <laughs> so isn't that fun there with spirituality? We're often told, yes, don't bother about the mind, and then we do need the mind. Okay, let's see which creative genius has a message for you. Who might this be? Okay, very exciting. Oh, how fantastic. The only way round is through Robert Frost. Oh, I love this quote. And you've got a writer here. 
and this is very much this is very much a writer writerly spread like if you're a writer this is definitely for you okay so let's have a look at this message from this creative genius who's come through specifically to speak to you about what you're going through the only way around is through you are going through something you are there's no doubt about it so it's it's to do with this it's to do with this you're either in some kind of little holding pattern and you need to break through to the next level there's transformation here there's some destruction there's something you need to go through okay well i mean gosh if, if, if this isn't talking about this and i don't know what is you got to break through something <clears throat> and it's perfectly fine for you to use your mind to do it right and maybe you have to break through this could even be you've got to break through some of your own doubt you've got to break through some of your own fear you might be having to break through something to do with other people but you know that's that's just that's just your stuff being mirrored back to you and i think you know that so if what you're having to go through as opposed to get around you know that it's just your wound <clears throat> being projected and being reflected back to you i think you do know that and the way through it is to see it to 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 understand it intellectually when your mind can see that the problems that you're going through it's actually your own stuff being projected out there and reflected back when you see that clearly through your mind the awareness the awareness is all that's needed to get you out and take you to that next level <clears throat> we think that um and this is the other thing this is an ego trap this is one that i've been working with a bit lately that is that we think the work is harder than what it is that's another thing right oh this is there's so much here this is good i feel i am just i'm like really feeling that you're on the brink of some really massive aha or some really big progress and it is transformation and it is you getting to that next level and you just you just have to go through it there's no tiptoeing around it you see hmm there's no running away look at that <clears throat> this is fascinating and my throat's gone all crazy right now too i don't know if there's some little speech right you guys have to speak because my voice has been fine all morning i have not needed <clears throat> to cough or water or anything so i don't know what's going on here but what i can tell you is that um look at that you see the only way around is through there's no walking away you need to you need to come towards you need to come hang on why is that focusing there we go you need to yeah you, you can't run away you, you have to come towards you have to embrace you have to be here and the mind through the mind through the intellect you can do this it's a, you know mind gets a bad rap why is that why does mind get a bad rap oh we're going for a bit long here it's all right i'll keep i'll just finish this point the mind gets a bad rap why because it's there's ego you know and but ego is not all bad sometimes we need a bit of ego in life sometimes we need to call stuff out or we need to speak or we need to say do you know what no right that, that might be a part of what's going on here And there's no running away from it whatever the problem is you need to embrace you need to come in you need to recognize that and that's leadership 
Lead, a leader does not run away or walk away. A leader comes in. A leader, a leader will take the problems. A leader will um, embrace the problems. A leader will say, okay, this has come to me. This is happening in my you know, field of vision. This is happening in my circle. This is happening in my family or whatever it is. This is happening. I'm present. So how do I take responsibility? And you can do it. Like, really. The, the, there's a lot of powerful energy here. Uh, this is great, guys. I, and I, I've got, from this spread, I've got every faith that you're going to, not only are you going to work this out, you're going to reach a new level of, um, of leadership, of, of, of leadership and uh, use of the intellect. It's amazing. It, whatever you, situation that you're in right now, you can really use this to go through it oh, hang on there we go to go through it and come out transformed and at that new level you're on the brink of something really big and i'm cheering you on all the way all right well group number one thank you so much for tuning in and we are now going to meet the next group so please leave me a comment if you feel so inspired and i'll see you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two you are in the right place let's take a look at your cards let's see what has come through okay so you've got the empress in reverse You've got the Judgment card in reverse. That's amazing because we just had this in the first group as well. So that's quite incredible to have this energy come in its reverse position from two different decks. I mean, far out. <laughs> that is just amazing. All right, uh, Eight of Pentacles upright. That is beautiful. Love that card. I love all these cards. And so this is the um, Light Seer's Tarot. It's my favorite 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 deck I just love it okay oh look at that you've got Gemini the lovers and we can see why right this is the lovers in uh, in tarot hang on here we go oh maybe bring it down a bit <laughs> being a bit fussy because we're gonna have a quote up there in a moment all right I'm taking too much time positive outlook Yes, I love this card. That's beautiful. I love the colors too. And the Lord Ganesh G deck. Learning. Uh huh. Number 31. It's beautiful. Okay. So, for an overview, before I draw your creative, your message from your creative genius, what do I see here? Okay. I love this spread. This is a really good spread when it comes to talking about creativity. Because you are being called through this spread to work more closely with your intuition. What I'm seeing here is that you do you are you do have a little bit of a blockage. Yeah, and I feel like you know that you have so much that you want to create and birth here on the earth there's so much you want to do there's so many ideas that you have there's such excitement there's vibrancy but it's like it's not in its upright position because there's just a little bit of a block and i'm not sensing a major block all these cards are very good so it's not telling me that there's a major block or anything like that it's there's just a little bit of a blockage here This is a card, typically, judgment of self-doubt. You doubt yourself. And we've got the Gemini here. Gemini often doubts itself. Gemini often has trouble with making a decision. And what this card is showing me is that well, this card and this card and this. I mean, it's kind of, but it's all of them together. I can't really pick but, and, and say, but I've got a very strong feeling that you're being called and asked to refine your intuition. You're being called and asked to really work with your intuition. 
to refine it, to get to know it, how, how it operates and not to look so much to the outside for guidance. I got, yeah, I definitely got a strong message come through with this uh, group that was to say that everything you need is within you. And, and this, <laughs> this is a really weird message. I don't know why this has come exactly, but, um, and I was working with a client about this very thing. And I, I mentioned this to this client and that was to say that there's so much free information on the internet. There's so much free stuff. Like you don't need to pay for a reading or pay for a book or pay for a course or pay for anything. Use all the free stuff. And like that's enough to heal and enlighten you. Do you know what I mean? Like there is enough out there. So in the external world, there is enough. And this learning card has come up, you see. But this is not, and it's really interesting because I just did group one and they too have to use their intellect in order to, get to the next level of where they want to go but with you it's different it's like because you're being called to use your intuition you're being called to go within and if you needed a bit of something from the external world we'll use the free stuff that's there but you don't need to yeah i, I kind of i get a sense that yeah you don't need to work too hard um, in order to resolve this this blockage, it's not it's not going to take too much work, right? This card is also very very significant because positive outlook. It's a number eleven. Two plus nine is eleven. And what do we have here? This is a master number eleven, and positive outlook really got me thinking about the David Hawkins scale and how. You're being called to really live from the level of courage and above, 200 courage and above. If you're up in those positive emotions, I think with courage, if I remember correctly, we've got like acceptance, willingness, um, you know, there's love, joy, peace, all those beautiful things, but there's, there's quite a scale that you can go from courage 200 and above. If you stay in those positive emotions, your intuition is going to work beautifully. It's going to guide everything. You, 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 you won't need anything from the external world, right? That is a big thing that I'm getting. And where all of this is going to help you and be needed right now, it's to do with your work. There's something to do with your work and that you are wanting to birth and get to the next level. This could be to do with your job or, um, yeah, I'm not sure. But you are on the brink of, of getting to this next level of your soul ascending, of you kind of uh, getting to this next place where once you get there, you never need to go back to those levels before. You've really done them, right? You've, you would have really done everything, um, you know, from, from the levels before. You won't need to go back. You won't need to retake any old lessons. Let's see which creative genius wants to speak to you. Oh, oh this is fun. All right, well, this one wants to come out, so let's take it. Let's see what it is. Oh, I should open it oh, on the screen, shouldn't I? Oh, fantastic. Oh, I love this. Okay, no matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. Absolutely. You've got something to give and to share. Massively so. And this guy was extremely intuitive. Talk about, I mean, so we, we have been talking about building your intuition, right? I mean, yeah, of all these people, look at that. We picked um, Robin Williams for this. This is perfect because, 
and he was funny look at that we've got gemini here there's always humor where there's gemini oh i love this this is fantastic oh how amazing well i mean look this is true because gemini is words and communication and all that kind of thing there's also a lot of blue green type energy here which is blue green heart um, fifth chakra speech right so your words and ideas and this is not in an intellectual way if you go to group one that was quite an intellectual group whereas this this is like this is fun this is and it's intuition and robin williams was mr on the fly wasn't he he would just everything was on the fly everything was just made up and invented on the spot in the moment and the creative choices that he was making like wasn't it phenomenal right it was just bang 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 he would keep choosing just the, the, the most hilarious and appropriate and perfect thing oh i love that he turned up for this group wow that is super cool and talk about positive outlook i mean yeah humor positive outlook stay in the level of courage and above use your intuition and the choices will just flow it'll just it'll just happen so easily right and this is really the empress her giving birth and I've, I've just temporarily forgotten what sign is she associated with but i am thinking of uh the fifth house and the sun here a little bit because because of robin williams because yeah there's rahu in the fifth house so yeah this is a great spread guys oh i love that so i hope you've enjoyed that group too let me know in the comments below how you got on with this reading uh, I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group three. If you chose group number three, you are in the right place. All right, let's take a look at your tarot to begin. Oh my goodness, yes, I remember you. Knight of Wands, take a look at that. This is an amazing spread, guys. When I got this on, I was just like, wow. When I saw this earlier, sorry, I'm just the sun. See, look at that. You got this. Check this out. Okay, I'll, 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 let's just do this. See, I'm already like can't even speak. That's how good this spread is. <laughs> Four of Cups in reverse. Are you ready? The sun again from another deck this is not even a tarot deck this is an astrology deck isn't this just insane look at that i mean come on this is just seriously guys i i'm speechless from this spread you'll see it just it keeps getting better what's your oh yeah look at that insight all that blue and gold oh, i love it this spread is insane. Grounding. Look at that. Ganeshji twice, the remover of obstacles. And you got this gold and yellow here, which is third chakra. I mean, I just, I just don't know how to explain how amazing this spread is, guys because this is all about creativity. You've got the sun twice from two different decks. You've got this, this blue and gold. I mean, this is blue and gold, but like there's a lot of blue and gold here, which to me is Saturn sun. And to me, Saturn sun is the combination of entrepreneurs, for sure, 100%. Uh, so this creativity that we're dealing with here, it's, it's massive and I think it's, in an entrepreneurial sense, if I would have to guess or have to say, you've got the nine of wands here. This is massively fiery energy. So we've got fire here twice. This is third chakra, that's quite fiery. We've got knight of wands here, insanely fiery and fast, okay? Fast and furious. We've got this, which so now if you've drawn this and you're like, well, I don't see any of this happening in my life. Okay. <laughs> Got the four of cups in reverse. Now, either you've been in a period of time where, look at what it says here on her shirt. It says over it, right? Like this is the card of, um, it's boredom really. 
and it's boredom and it says it over it. I mean, you could even be depressed, right? Like this is just, uh, you know, it's not a great card when it's in its upright position, depending on what else is there. Now for you, I feel like maybe you've been in a time of boredom or, you know, just being like, what is the point of all this? Or, you know, what, what am I doing here? Or you're either in that or you're coming out of it. If you're in it, what I can tell you for sure is that my goodness, what awaits you is just out of this world, right? Wow, right? This energy is great. This is, this is creativity. This is excitement. This is fun. This is adventure. This is grounding. This is you making it happen and you feeling the joy of making it happen, right? Uh, this insight card to me with the blue and the gold, it is Saturn Sun. And I know that the um, sixth chakra is being highlighted here. So if you have been in a period where things have been a bit boring, a bit stayed, a bit dull, a bit, what is the point of all this? You, you, you're going to come out of it and you're going to do so by, by visualizing the excitement that you want into being, okay? You, you're going to have to really visualize. You're going to have to dream. You're going to have to... What would you like to see yourself doing and who with, you know? Choose who you want. Go for it. Just, um, yeah, amazing, right? This is so beautiful. So let's pick a message from a creative genius. Which creative genius has a message for you? Okay, what do we have here? Oh my God, you got Osho. This is so exciting. I love this. Oh, this is great. Oh, get out. Sorry, but I'm just having a moment here. This is so cool because this matches this exactly. Okay. One who sees things nobody else has ever seen before, who hears things nobody has heard before, then there is creativity. I mean, could, the, could this just be like, oh, sorry, I'm just like having a moment. This is amazing, guys. <laughs> I love this. Okay, so look at that. You're meant to visualize your thing into being, right? Oh, I love this. This is so good. This is exactly one who sees things nobody else has ever seen before, who hears things nobody has heard before, then there is creativity. And this is reminding me of Paul McCartney, who heard the song yesterday in his dream, and then he brought it into being, right? And it's also reminding me of Karl Lagerfeld, who he would see things that no one else has ever seen before. He would see the designs in his dream, in his dreams, right? He would see them. And then he would ground them. He would manifest them. And for me, I feel like you've got a huge amount of creative energy that's, that's just, it's absolutely manifested and it wants to come through you. I mean, it's just that simple, guys. It's like, I don't know what it is you're going to manifest or birth or what. Is it going to be music? Is it going to be a book? Is it going to be painting? Is it going to be art? Is it going to be children? Is it going to be a family? Is it going to, what do you want to make? What is it that you want to make? And I feel like you're being asked to just indulge in the vision of that, what, that which you want to create. Indulge in it. Don't, sometimes we don't allow our imagination to really fly or, or go for it because we think, oh, that's never going to happen. And then, you know, yeah, we're in this mode, aren't we? And we think, oh, God, that's never going to happen. So I might as well not visualize it or I might as well not think about it. Or, you know, and it, and it can be, and it can be like it depresses me that, you know, the things I visualize, it doesn't happen. If we're stuck in this mode, yeah, we, we can definitely be there. I know what that is all about. But I feel like you're being asked to just let your imagination fly free just go for it just visualize the beautiful things that you would love to have happen and you've got a lot of great strong energy here that's saying yeah and, and a lot of divine energy look at that Ganeshji Lord Ganeshji is very much here saying 
I will help you. I will take down the barriers. I will help you manifest what it is that you want. Guys, I mean, beautiful. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I don't have too much more to say. This has been just so amazing, this reading. And it's actually really short. But that's it's funny when it's really good sometimes there's not as much to say isn't that incredible and that's that thing of uh, I was talking about this in group two where when you are at that level of 200 courage in the David Hawkins scale and above you know and you're in those beautiful uh, high lofty gorgeous you know vibrations when you're up there life becomes effortless easy you don't have to do so much like a little bit like a short burst of energy creates a world you know and and as you ascend into those higher realms and higher levels and you leave in this behind which you are because it's in the reverse position you know a small burst of energy will just ignite an entire world create a whole big thing so amazing guys just just wow so thank you for whoever uh, congregated in the future to pick all these cards because you've done a superb job here and you know I, I got to enjoy talking about it just now so <laughs> um, let me know how you get on with this reading um, please do put a comment in the comments below and yeah and don't worry if if you're not feeling it, if you're going do you know what, what i don't see how any of this is no just hang in there okay visualize allow yourself to dream big it's really important all right well thank you so much for tuning in and leave me a comment in the comments below if you feel so inspired and i look forward to seeing you next time mm -hmm.